Hi, my name is Octavian and I live in South East London. If you're a trans man or non-binary person and were assigned female at birth, it's so important that you're aware of cervical screening. Cervical screening is for anyone with a cervix. Cervical screening involves looking at cells in your cervix to spot any abnormalities. It's really effective and research shows that screening saves over 2,000 lives each year in the UK. Despite these huge benefits, people in our community are far less likely to attend screening. It's normal to feel a little anxious or worried, but hopefully we can help by walking you through the process. Come with me as I show you how it works here at Clinic U. Don't worry, you're not going to see anything you don't want to. Hello, welcome to Clinic Q. My name is Victoria. Is it your first time? Yeah. Okay, would you like to fill this form? Absolutely. To the receptionist, thank you. Hello. Hello, welcome. Okay. All done. Would you like to come with me? Okay. Yes, of course. At this point in the appointment, this is when somebody will go through the sheet that I just filled out. So that's going over things like my name, my NHS number, you know, the things that I want from the appointment and the other kind of services I may want to access today. Clinic U offers a variety of services, including counseling and holistic well-being, blood testing for hormone levels, hormone injections for those with a prescription, uh, HIV prevention, including PrEP, and HIV care for those that are already positive. I'm going to put you in the waiting area. Octavian, do you want to come through? Hi, come through. Have a seat. Hi, my name's Michael Brady. I'm the doctor running the clinic here today. My pronouns are he and him. And we're gonna talk through about the process of having a cervical smear. I think the first thing to say is that we recognize that it is often very anxiety making, nerve wracking at the thought of coming to have a smear. And the process is a little bit uncomfortable but we're gonna do everything that we can to make this as easy and as pleasant as possible. When you come and have a smear, the first thing that we'll do is just really just talk about it, first of all, so that you have all of the facts, you know what the process involves, and you're able to answer any questions. Uh, and we can talk about any specific things that you're concerned about or you're anxious about before we do the test. Also, I think it's important to know that if you come along just to ask some questions, that's fine. We don't have to do the test on the day you come. We can give you all the information. You can go away and come back another time and have the smear. In particular, if you want to bring somebody with you, a friend or a partner, to be in the consultation room or to be here when we do the test, that's fine uh, as well. Whatever makes it easy for you. For me personally, it's really important for you to feel like you're in control. So at any point during the, the process of taking this smear. If you want me to pause, if you want me to stop, or if you want me to just kind of like completely just take everything out and, and give up, that's completely fine. You're in control rather than me. Uh, and if it's too uncomfortable or you want us to pause or stop, that's absolutely fine. Taking this smear, certainly from my point of view, is really relatively easy and simple and quick. We use something called a speculum, and I have one here to show you. These come in different sizes, so we'll use the smallest possible one. Uh, to take the smear. It's a little plastic device that is inserted slowly and then just opened up a little bit so that I can see the cervix and then take the sample. We always use plenty of lubricant on the speculum to make it as comfortable as possible. Taking the smear, as I say, is really quick. We use just a little soft brush that rubs the surface of the cervix, takes some cells off, which we put in a little pot, and that gets sent off to the lab to do the test. To be honest, the consultation, um, it's the discussion that takes all of the time. Actually doing the smear takes just a minute or so, and probably, uh, you know, you'd be out after five minutes or so altogether. So that's how an appointment would look like if you were to visit Clinic U. Whenever you come and visit Clinic U at King's, you will always be treated with expert care, dignity, and respect. We hope that this video has helped address some of your concerns or worries, and that you're now feeling more confident to get screened. If you don't live in South East London, you can always ask your GP or healthcare provider for any of these things to help you feel more comfortable. 
Remember, the cervical screening is for everyone with a cervix and it saves thousands of lives every year.